So welcome back everybody. Today is a pretty exciting day for me and certainly for the channel. When I mentioned in the last video that bigger and better things were coming, this is what I was talking about. The LT10 just kind of got to be uh, not quite enough mill. There were things that I wanted to do with the mill that the LT10 wasn't capable of. It was a really good mill, but the opportunity came along for me to sell it and then the opportunity came along for me to purchase this one. So as you just saw, we went to Woodmiser in Newnan, Georgia this morning and ended up picking this up. So we're up at my parents' house right now, and what we're going to do, he's, my dad has got a good tractor with a bucket on it, and we're going to see if we can get this thing assembled. Now, Woodmiser's website claimed that you can do sawing and cutting within a few hours of, uh, of purchasing the mill of getting it to your house. So we're going to test that claim today. What we're going to do is we're going to get this stuff off of the trailer, and we're going to set a time lapse with a timer, and we're going to see just how quickly you can actually get this thing together and be cutting with it. So let's go ahead and get it apart and see what we can do. So I guess I should note real quick what I ended up going with. This is the LT15 Go, which of course is just an LT15 with a trailer package. I opted to get the power feed option as well as the log loading package. Also opted to stay with the standard 19 horsepower, uh, standard Kohler engine for it. I figured that the LT10 had been sawing great with a 10 horsepower engine. 19 horsepower is almost double that, so I think that'll be more than sufficient for what I need.
So as you saw, we finally finally got the head off of the trailer and that took an hour and 11 minutes. We may, we may not count that in the final time. But I'm gonna put the camera on a, a time lapse and I'm gonna keep it at an hour and 11 minutes and um, go ahead and see how long it takes to assemble the rest of it. Yeah, it's, it's got a little wrist stat on it. 
and I can see I can lock it in place. It'll go. Wow. It'll go by itself. That is so cool. Isn't that nice? Look at that. And then to bring it back. Yeah. Get all the crap off the bed before we bring it back. Uh, is that uh, all the stuff I just put up there? Well, I had stuff up there too that knocked <laughs> down. We both did. Uh, okay. Oh well. Kind of stop. No, it doesn't. The, the pulley just starts slipping. Oh, huh. it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Man, that's nice. Turn that off before I break anything. Uh. Yeah, I think so. It's going to take a little bit because it's got the pump it. Yeah, I guess. Alright, this is only a test. Just a test. Look at one here comes. Let's see, we'll see, if, see if it cranks. He showed me, he pulled the dipstick and showed me the dipstick at the shop. So I know it's got oil in it. Okay. Pull the shot. Let her rip that right. <laughs>
so you need the easy in the throttle to get the blade in. Yeah. Sweet. This thing's nice. Sweet. <laughs> Hey, Ma, it yeah. works! Yeah. Woo, that's nice. It works! That boy has bought himself a fine play party. So guys, there's some fine adjustments that are still going to have to be done, but it took nine hours and seven minutes <laughs> to put that together with a tractor with two people who are reasonably capable, I guess. <laughs> reasonably. Reasonably capable, I guess. <laughs> And uh, um, yeah, nine hours and seven minutes. That included getting all the stuff off of the trailer. And um, yeah, that's it. Nine hours and seven minutes. Woodmiser says you can be sawing within a few hours after you get the mill. And I guess nine hours is a few hours. But if you were more experienced, I think you could probably get it together a little bit quicker. Maybe if you had a forklift, it might be a little bit easier. But nine hours, I don't think is all that bad. Um, if you, there is an option for them to put it together for you. It costs somewhere between 350 and 400 dollars, and that might be worth it. Um, there was a couple of reasons I didn't do that. One of the reasons was I could save 400 dollars, and the other reason was now that I've put it all together, I know how everything works. I know how, where everything goes, how it fits together, and how to adjust it. If something breaks, I know how to break it down, and I just felt like I would, it would make me more familiar with the machine if I did it that way. But that's all I've got. I appreciate you watching. I'm looking forward to lots of good adventures with this mill. I'm really excited about it. It's a smooth running machine. I'm extremely impressed with the build quality so far. And um, that's all I've got. I will see you all next time.